orthomarketing.com. 360 degree digital marketing solutions for your practice. Well, everybody out in podcast land, this is Dean Steinman from Ortho Marketing, and we are back with another awesome podcast for you. So today I've got a special guest who's been with me before, and I've got John Izini with me here, who is our director of accounts here at Ortho Marketing. And um, John is incredible. He's a great leader in our industry, um, helps accounts with their transitions, help them grow. We're going to talk a little bit today about um, different ways that your staff can help you um, increase your new patient flow and be a real game changer when it comes to bringing in business and dealing with patients. So Johnny, how are you today? I am doing very well, Dean. It's Thursday. I'm pumped. Uh, we've had a very productive week so far. Awesome. Good. So let's kind of jump into it. So, um, you know, obviously, you know, our listeners are mostly up, obviously, with a lot of dentists and they run a practice. So um, the staff is the most important part of a the practice. They make, the, they make everything go. They the, the heartbeat of, of a practice. So what are some things that a practice can implement today, a doctor can implement today to get their staff involved and help the, and the, how the staff can be a game changer when it comes to patients, when it comes to new business, and it comes to overall flow? Now, there's actually four different ways um, that we can have the staff help the practice increase their patient flow. So I'm going to be talking about these four things. So we have phone etiquette and the in-office experience. We have the consultation process response time to interested patients and leads, and asking for reviews. Okay, great. So, and every one of those are important. And you can't have one without the other. I use the the, the, you know, uh, the baking analogy. You can't bake a cake with all the right ingredients. You can't just bake it with flour. You can't bake it with sugar. You can't have all the right pieces. So, the, and these are the four main components that staff is involved with that you that you need to make sure are working like a well-oiled machine. So let's talk about the very first one. What's, what can be done today from on, on step one? Sure. So phone etiquette and the in-office experience. So the, from the moment that patient calls for their new appointment, you know, to come into the practice to schedule their consultation, that is going to be the absolute first interaction with the practice. So the way that the receptionist um, answers that call and interacts with that person, it's going to stick with that person you know, from the beginning to end of that call and to when they come in through the doors. So first yeah. off, we want to make sure that they're happy. People can tell when people are smiling on the phone. So we want to make right sure, we want to make them feel welcome right off the bat, Dean. Right. It's funny. If you walk into a store or that office and the person just has a scowl on their face, whereas you just, you just like get turned off right away, you know? So by spot, and I love when I practice and answer the phone, very, you know, very happy, very full of, you know, excitement, bubbly. And that's real important, you know. Some of, some of the things I've brought in the past is the picture. We have a big sign right in front of the, your desk by your phone, and it says "Smile." You know, and every time you answer the phone, smile. And by doing that, will make you feel better, make them feel better. You know, it's hard to be always up and happy and smiling all the time. But you're right. The fir first impression is so important. Um, what's one thing that that doctor can do to make sure because some you know most doctors are in the back doing their stuff and they don't know how to answer the phones how can they even make sure that somebody is noticing you correctly and being happy and enthusiastic yeah it's it's super simple as to giving your receptionist a script letting them know what to say on that first interaction from the moment that they pick up the phone all the way to the end i mean and it's not even the first interaction dean it's it's when it comes to um getting the patient's information Sometimes um, these patients aren't sticking on the call all the way until the end. They might have an interruption. Um, they might have to check with their wife or their spouse uh, for insurance information. And I cannot tell you how many calls that I've observed where the receptionist does not take the patient's information before hanging up that phone. It's a huge issue. Right. I'll touch you. I'll let you know. I'll call you back. And you lose them. So it's you know, putting on you. So it's a sales call. Every time the phone rings, it's sales, quote, unquote. So phone etiquette, very important. Number two? Yeah. So uh, number two, now this is after, you know, we've kind of made that sale and we're in the practice. Uh, the consultation is pro uh, process. Uh, we've gone through the entire process and we're to the we're, we're to the part where we're giving the treatment plans. 
Now, I, I, I let, let's mind you, okay? Um, we're not going to the grocery store. It's not a hundred and fifty, two hundred dollar trip. We're talking anywhere between thirty five hundred dollars uh, to over ten thousand dollars for treatment, depending on where you are. So right. you really have to sell the person on the sale when it comes to uh, the consultation process. I know that there's flexible treatment plans, but you got to let them know everything that you have to offer. If you have dental monitoring, let them know about that. Let them know that you can um, that you can monitor their their treatments from home. That there's going to be less appointments for them to come into. Um, let them know all the doctor's accolades. What makes you special? You can't finish that process and say, "Hey, it's going to be ten thousand dollars." Here's your uh, flexible payment plans. Uh, hopefully, we hear from you soon. You have to do more than that. It's it, it's a big chunk of money for these people, especially with the economic times, Dean. It, it, it is, you know, and you have to have a differentiator. Right? When I asked, you know, practices, you know, the first couple board with us, tell me what makes you different and what what makes your differentiator. So, you know, to have you know somebody being a, a certified, you know, Invisalign instructor, or to be the number one Invisalign provider in the in in the area, or the most experienced or the most reviewed, really goes a long way. So to to be able to solidify that, have a, you know, this good housekeeping step approval is real important. You'll do it without sounding cocky, without sounding salesy, but you have to be able to have to flow off off their their tongue very quickly. So they have to learn how to do it, and that's something that you, that, you know doctors you're going to teach the staff on how to do so. Just give them, you know, once a week. Here's a full here's a bullet point. Let's 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 re, let's do a role play, helping a lot lines so they understand what needs to be done. Um, what's number three? Number three, the response time. This is absolutely crucial. So you have somebody come in through a web form, you have somebody call the office, say you missed a call. The time that you get back to that person, it's going to really depend on whether they actually come in for that appointment or not. You know, fun fact here, if, if you're not responding to that, per, uh, to that patient within five minutes, your percentage to actually close that lead or for that lead to come into the office drops by 900%. It's absolute. It's absolutely the numbers are insane. Insane. The stats are real. The market is very competitive. There are so many people marketing to these people. So many other practices. You know, they, if if you don't get back to them, they're just going to go right on to the next. So, the fact that and and um, the time that it takes it takes you to get back to that person absolutely crucial. And we, and we help here with that as well. It's so important to do that. You know, the average person the average person reaches out to a to a, a doctor the first part practice does a two-way conversation with them gets the close 80 percent of the time and then the longer you wait the more it drops as well so the sooner that's you can get somebody reaches out to you and you get back to them and you know there's a two-way conversation we're waiting it any more formal communication is so important because that's the person who's going to close you know i use another analogy i use if you're looking to go out to a restaurant tonight um you got you fill out a form and you say, oh, yeah, could I have an appointment at reservation at 8 o'clock? How long are you going to wait before you got to call up another restaurant or reach out to the restaurant to hear back? So you got to reach out immediately, automate it as much as possible, have very fast turn times in order to, res- to get somebody's information and to communicate with them. So response time is super, super important. And, and finally, the, the, the last little tip is asking for reviews um, all around. This help, not only helps with SEO, but this is going to help with your uh, your digital presence. They pay tremendous dividends. I can't tell you how many times that I used the analogy to actually picture yourself buying a product on Amazon. So you're buying something brand new. Where's the first place that you're going to go, Dean? Exactly. I'm going to go to Amazon and look at at reviews. I'm not going to look read the reviews. I'm just going to look at the sheer number, and that's what catches my eye. You know, I use that same analogy as well. If you looking to buy a phone, looking to buy a headphones, you're looking to buy shoes, whatever it is. You see, you know, one sh- shoe has got 4,000 reviews, one is 132. Which one are you going to look at? Exactly my point, Dean. Like, I mean, right. it's, and, and it's not just a, a product that we're looking on Amazon, you know, anywhere from 20 to $150. Again, bringing it back to the cost of, the, of, of these products here, we're talking anywhere between 3500 to $10,000. So you bet your bottom yeah. dollar that people are going to be looking at what their friends and what their community is saying about the practice. It's right. it's important. It is. And again, guys, the only way to get a review is you gotta ask. You gotta ask. ask. That's it. That's it. So you have to have a, a review program in place. So you know if 
If you get one of these four tips today, guys, and implement it, it's a game changer. If you can do two, three, or four, it's a home run. So once again, you know, the four tips that you should do today and teach your staff and get involved with is, is phone etiquette. Make sure they, they're smiling and answer the phone happy. Um, being educated in the consultation and let them know what makes you different. Um, response time when somebody does reach out to you for the first time. And finally, reviews. And if you have all these in place, it'll be a well-oiled machine. Sure, it takes a while to get it going. Um, but, you know, realistically, Johnny, what is the best way for somebody to learn about each of these things or how to, could, should they do it? You know, how, what's the best way for somebody to learn how to do the best etiquette or or how to, you know, be quicker on response or to ask for a review? Is there any particular, um, you know, secret sauce you can recommend? Yeah, what I would recommend is consulting with a professional. Now, I mean, here at Ortho Marketing, I'm the director of accounts. My account managers are trained in consulting and training staff for phone etiquette, um, coming up with programs for reviews, uh, really pushing those selling points so they can help with the consultation process. And not only that, we do secret shop calls and we help with follow-up time and lead time. So, I mean, so, it's, it's a so, no-brainer. It, 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 it's something, you know, just like you're an expert in your field, that's we're an expert in ours. And, you know, sh sure, people could do, you know, could do the thing, they could do a do it yourself type of thing. You know, that's some, something we recommend. You know, recommend you do that on your own as well. You work with an expert, there's also a difference. So if you take one of these four bits of advice today, take it to heart, you'll see a difference. If you do two even further, and if you're able to hit all four, game changer. So, Johnny, thanks so much for this, this tidbit. I really appreciate your time here. Guys, if you have any questions, please reach out to us at Ortho Marketing. Follow us on all the social media. Reach out to us you know, via our website, and we'd love to help you out and teach you the best way to bring in more patients, train the staff, and help you become the dominant practice in your market. So with that said, everybody, thanks so, so much. Happy smiles. Happy marketing. Be safe. And go Jets. <laughs>